Welcome back, humans. I'm back once again. It's Saturday, and it's another Meant to Vent session, and I got the wife in the studio, and she's joining me to vent it out in the Meant to Vent studio. How you doing? Hey, good. You know I'm excited tonight. Me too. I got that fight coming up. It's coming out tonight. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez versus Vasil Lomachenko. Woo! I know I'm so hyped up, and it's going to be on regular ESPN. It's going to be free. free. They don't cost no money. I like free. And, man, I'm excited about this fight. I watched the weigh-in yesterday. I thought uh, Lopez looked a little drained, like, because they got to, you know, make exact weight. They were fighting at 135. Mm -hmm. And so they he looked a little drained, but he is, the, like, the natural bigger guy. And, like, Lomachenko got in the, on the scale. It didn't even look like he was shredded or nothing like that. Like, he just walks around at that weight or something. <laughs> but the other guy looked a little bit, like, super tight in the face. But I think he's um, used to doing that. He's a young guy. They can handle that crazy shit like that. But it's going to be a good fight. I'm excited. And um, it comes out tonight. And uh, I hope everybody's going to check it out. I'm fucking hyped about it. The undercard started about 7. And the main event's supposed to start sometime after 10. Ooh, They're never ooh. on time. They're always late as hell. Is it 12 rounds? Or? Yeah, it's going to okay. be 12 rounds. And Lomachenko was talking his trash. And Lopez was talking his trash. Lopez said he's going to try to muscle him and this, this, and that. But Lomachenko's got that footwork, man. He's got real good footwork, and he told him he wants to go 12 rounds. He said he don't want to knock him out. He wants to fight for 12 rounds. So Lomachenko is probably going to try to school him and use technique and footwork and try to, like, outbox him for 12 rounds while the other guy is going to try to maul him and brawl him type deal. That's what it sounds like anyways. We'll see what happens, and we'll see what happens tonight. That's all I can say about that. We'll who, see what happens. Who do you think is going to win? Um, If I had to go for, like, a decision, I've, I haven't seen too much from Lopez to say that I would pick him, but I would have to go Lomachenko just because of the, I mean, that guy's got, he's the veteran. So I would have to go with him, but my heart is like, let's go for the Latino guy. Let's go for him and the underdog. Cause he's young, man. He's, he made a big splash early in the game and he's already got this other belt opportunity, you know? Wow. So it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Who are you rooting for? I guess. Like I said, um, I'm a fan of both of these guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for boxing right now. This is more me rooting for the sport itself because this is a, a good – this is like sometimes when they have these kind of good fighters, they don't always make them at the right time. So, like, this fight happened at the right time where these guys are both in their prime. Mm -hmm. They didn't let Lomachenko get too old. They didn't let him get too, like, you know, more seasoned while he was getting out, of, like, on the downside. They did it at the right time. So I think that's why I'm just – I'm, like, rooting for boxing altogether. Like, this okay. was just a cool thing for boxing. They're right. both – fighters that i'm a fan of so it's a win-win for me cool so lopez wins i'm like hell yeah <laughs> and lomachenko does it i'm like hell yeah because like i said i watched lomachenko when he started um you know fought a guy one-handed so it was like it was awesome and then he made a guy quit in the, in the, in the corner one time the guy didn't want to fight no more you think it's gonna go all 12 rounds it could be i, I think it is gonna go 12 rounds i got a feeling it's gonna go 12 rounds or a knockout somewhere there's a possibility for knockdowns but mm -hmm. I think it is going to go the distance. Okay, well that should be a good one then. You know, I give I give Lopez I give Lopez a shot. I give him a shot to win this fight. Um, but like I said, this is going to be a test for both fighters. I always thought that Lomachenko needed more tougher opponents, mm -hmm. and like I said, they made this fight at the right time. They found a guy in his prime, a young, real good, technical, strong young fighter, and I think it couldn't have been done at a better time. And I'm I'm hyped about it. Woo. Hyped with some hey. extra, with some extra <laughs> in there, a couple little extra ones in there. <laughs> fun, it's man! Gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Um, speaking of sports, I found a weird co uh, conspiracy about sports last night. What? I found this conspiracy stuff. I love going down those rabbit holes. Sometimes you know me. Mm -hmm. So, about the NBA being rigged. Now, I'm not saying this, but uh, these videos were well done. I went down this rabbit hole. They were saying how the NBA games were rigged, and they, they started doing all these calendars when you could see the calendars on, like, I don't know what websites or whatever. You can see the schedules of the playoff games. Okay. And they were already saying who the next winner was of the next round. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, really? I never paid attention to that. But a lot of people saw when they picked the Golden State Warriors to already beat whoever they were playing, uh, Kansas City. And they already showed them playing Cleveland in game one. And I was like, what? So then they were showing that part. Like, they already were predicting winners. Mm -hmm. And then they started saying that there is magnets in the basketball. 
What? And there's magnets in the rim, so Come they can on. they can they can pick the score of the game. Oh my gosh! Because they were showing NBA players, like any player, not even the superstar what? players. Do you like, believe that? No, but it's uh, a lot of fun. This is a lot yeah. of fun. Let me just like break down their their premise of this. So okay. there was like okay. I have to show you some of these clips. It's amazing. So <laughs> they show gosh. an NBA player who's like not a superstar, and he's shooting baskets in warm up, and the guy's making like every shot. Like, every shot. Then they got him on the court before the game. All the warm-ups, he's making every shot. Then when the game starts, every shot's like, just shooting out of the bus, making out, not making anything. Okay. All right? So then they show, at clutch points of the game, the ball just go in, out of crazy stuff, like Steph, you know, Steph Curry shooting from half court and all them crazy shots he does, and they just go, like, all net. Oh, my all right? gosh. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's rigged. So... <laughs> that's what they were saying that there's magnets in the ball and then they also say that's why nobody's allowed to keep a game ball from the nba so if a ball ever goes out to the court they get the ball back immediately because there's magnets in it that's like the conspiracy of that huh. isn't that wild yeah i mean who knows man i mean anymore anything's possible but if yeah you could think it it's probably true so you know? yeah magnets in the ball <laughs> and magnets in the rim and that's how they predict like the winners of all these games mm-hmm that's wild. That's just a wild. Cons- that was just so fun. Oh my gosh! I was like, "What is this?" Interesting. <laughs> that was just as wild as that. Birds are the birds aren't real or whatever. That one. The birds are fake. Oh yeah, like they're robots or drones or something. Or the Earth is flat. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh! That so yeah, that was funny. the that was the one I seen on that, and it was a crazy ass conspiracy. <laughs> Conspiracy. And they were showing like weather controlling ones and all that kind of stuff, but those are like the usual. Those are like the usual, uh, like the big three in the auto industry of conspiracies. But yeah. So other conspiracies is about how the Simpsons like predict the future. Oh, remember yeah. how I showed you some of those and like yeah. you've seen some and mm-hmm. how everybody says like these episodes picked and then all of a sudden like in the future they actually happen. Right. So I'm th- I'm saying right now that the one that, the, you know, I've said it many times, um, the only one that hasn't happened yet is when they have our world leaders on stage and they're all arguing and this and that over power and the one alien, they decide to rip their face off and show that they're aliens. Oh my gosh. And people are wearing masks right now. So what if that's like a metaphor for yeah, that? Yeah, so you know? I think that's the only prediction that hasn't Ooh. happened yet. And I'm waiting for that to go down. <laughs> now I'm waiting for it to go down. And no, uh, it's going to be wild. When it happens, like Joe Biden's going to freak out. He's not even going to start like he's going to forget what he was saying. And everybody's thinking that his memory's slipping, but it's just hard for him to keep his reptilian digital oh suit on. He's just going to start twitching. He's going to be like, John, he's just going to rip his face <laughs> off on stage and come out. He's going to come out and be like, like, uh, what's his name? James, Ro- uh, the guy who does um, Darth James Vader. Earl Jones. Is that him? Yeah. With a super low voice. Yes. Yeah. So James Earl Jones, like in that Conan movie where he turns in that big snake. Mm-hmm. Remember that shit? Yeah. That's what she's going to do. Kamala Harris's hair is going to fade back. And she's going to be like, Shit-cha! Like Medusa. And, uh, and fuck, no. <laughs> just like the one in Conan, <laughs> I'm telling like... you. But, uh, and like Joe Biden's going to freak out and just rip his face off. And it's going to be crazy shit. Oh, my gosh. Live on TV, too. They're going to have to cut the cameras off if it happens on time. Everybody better have your DVRs on. Because it's going to, that's the only one that ain't happened yet. That's crazy. I think it's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> inevitable. Yeah, it's, I think that's the only thing that's left. <laughs> it's insane. a little, 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 little. That would be so crazy. There's nothing left. Honey, there's nothing left. I've looked. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken time machines. There's nothing left. <laughs> oh, my. oh, okay. So, yes. How are you now with some of these? Are you happy that a lot of these stores are back open so you can go back in there and start shopping? Yeah, I am. But you know what? I really don't have the desire right now okay. to go shop. I just don't. I don't know why. It's I weird. I was really glad weird. I was more I was really happy with that curbside because it it like you know I'm like an impulse buyer. Um yes. So yes, you are. <laughs> I like I'm so happy with that curbside. <laughs> I hope that never goes away because that like eliminated me from anything. I only buy what I need. I like that. So, like, for on you. the way to the aisle, like, like I said, I don't need another pillow. I don't need another, you know, whatever. You don't need all that twenty dollar phone cord. These glow thing. sticks are on sale. No, no. you know what I'm saying. We don't need so, it. So, I think it's good for me. 
batteries, a huge thing of batteries. It's going to probably expire before we use them all. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope that uh, the curbside stays for me because and I'll just like, think that you can't go in the store anymore. I'll just tell myself I ain't allowed in there. Um, what's one of the like things that you hate when you go shopping? I hate when people are like, as soon as you walk into a store, people hound you. I don't like that. I do not like that. And when, what else? Oh, I don't like it when like you're at the grocery store and you're in line or you're trying to pay or whatever and people are just rushing you. Like, let me pay. Stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know, back up. Let me buy. Give me my personal space. I like when I, I hate that. I, I hate when you go in like there. That. Get up off me. <laughs> I hate when you go in there at first. You just walk in the door. Like, it's a shoe store or whatever store. Like, I'll go in there and want to get some sneakers or something, right? Yeah. You just walk in the door. You don't know what you want yet. You just just saw the shoes on the wall. Like, you're just 10 foot you, in the store. You just barely glanced at it. So, they ask you if you need some help. I'm like, that's no what, thanks. That's like, well, that's what I'm saying. I but that. I'll get to the place and see what I want, and then I can't find nobody. That's what pisses me off when I'm at the store. Like, first you get me right when I walk the door, look all super eager to help me. <laughs> then I find a shoe I want. And then you ain't fucking nowhere to be found. I'm just like, there was just nine people at the door just saying hi to me. Right. Now I see the shoe I want and there's nobody. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I do hate when I shop. All right. So last night we watched the movie Misery. I uh, haven't seen it in a while, but it was a good one. That chick was a psycho. That chick was a pure psycho. Straight up. What's her name? Bates. Yep. Kathy. Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good wild movie. Yeah. And um, that was like pre-GPS, you know, pre-shit like that. So it was easy for somebody to get lost like that. That, like, could happen, you know? I, I just thought it was stupid that the guy was in a Mustang in the winter. Me too. Like, I'm... just because you have to do the same thing you do every time you finish your book, like, you still got to watch the weather. Right. <laughs> No, I didn't know there was going to be a snowstorm. And he drives it that every time he would write a book. He, yeah. I, I get it. Like, it's like nostalgic for you. But you're in the mountains. There was a blizzard coming in. A blizzard. And you're driving a Mustang, like an old ass Mustang that doesn't have like anti-brake locks. And it stuff. seemed like he kept going stuff faster like and faster and shit. I'm like, if the storm got worse, I'm like, this right. dude's an idiot. And, and all then... he's worried about is his leather case that has the book in it. His, uh, you know, the first copy or what do you call it? His rough draft or. Why didn't he put a seatbelt on that? <laughs> why he was just you... trying to hold it with his hand. Like, why, why are you so he worried about it? Just focus on the road. It's not going to go anywhere. Care. It's in the car with you. Focus on the road. Anyways. Besides all that, it could happen. That story could totally happen. Yeah, but... I mean, not even necessarily a famous famous author, but, like... Now you'll get found Just a easier. person. Like, that could be, like, you know, somebody... Some straight-up nut job. Keep somebody in their basement or, you know... Yeah, but, I mean, just saying, they would have to take all your phones and everything now because you can even track people's... Um, what are those? AirPods. Yeah, well, what if the person just took the person? No technology. Just left all their stuff. It'd be, I don't know, like I said, it'd be easier to find people now because everybody has internet and Wi-Fi. True, I mean, there's, but there's, there's still stuff, people that are kidnapped there's and people locked still up getting places kidnapped. for years. But there's a lot of people being found now that ain't being talked about on the news. That's true. There's a Which lot of people being found with we our gotta, technology. We, people need to hear that stuff, you know? But I just thought it was crazy. She was psycho. Very. And it was just bananas, like... I couldn't believe that his legs healed the way they healed, like the way they, she said they were broken all those places. I know, I know. And then after they're like doing so much better, she does that thing. Yeah, she busts his feet up. Oh, that was so awful. nasty. That was super that's gross. horrible. Out of all like the Stephen King films, that was probably one of the like better ones to watch that went into motion picture. Mm -hmm. A lot of his books were way better. I agree, totally. Than the actual like movies that came out with him. Right. But I thought this was a good you know, book to movie film. Right, right. Cause... Like the quality was good. It wasn't because some of his movies can be a little corny. They got some weird, you know? they got some weirdness to them. They take a weird yeah. spin for mm -hmm. sure. But, but that's his style, you know? Yeah, I but guess. from like It and um, uh, Misery, I mm -hmm. think those were two of them that they did a good job with. But With her miserable uh, ass. Dreamcatcher was awesome, <laughs> but then Dreamcatcher yeah. took that weird spin. Yeah, it did. It, it, you know, and kind of like M. Night Shyamalan, like his movies kind of always take a weird twist. 
Like you, there are like sometimes you think it's a really scary movie, but then it ends up not being really scary. Right. Like I you like know? I like, like Shyamalan signs, films. Even I like the M Night Shyamalan films. M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan. Plus his name is awesome it's, to say. I can't say it right. M. So his Night first Shyamalan. name his first name is the letter M. <laughs> right. Like they call me M now. No, it's probably like Muhammad. M Night. M Night. M Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. It sounds like a just like it even sounds like a weapon. <laughs> It's like my name sounds like a weapon. Pass me the M. Night Shyamalan. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He did a lot of movies. But you know what? One of his movies that pissed me <clears throat> off was The Fucking Village. The Village, that yeah. That pissed me the hell yeah. off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They made it seem like it was some super scary shit. And then it was just some people in the middle of some, like, like Elizabeth Park. I know. <laughs> they were like, hiding, really? hiding in the woods at a, like a national That's park. That's what I'm saying. Like, his movies always take that weird twist. Like, they seem like they're going to be super scary. And then, and then it's like, no, it's not. But it's the not, signs, the signs did he was do crazy. The visit? Yeah, the visit was cool. Yeah, that one actually was creepy. That was weird. That was a weird movie there. That one took all kinds of weirdness. Them some crazy as old people, you know. That was a good uh, twist at the end of that film, though. And she was like, "Those ain't my grand, those ain't your grandparents." I was I like, "Damn!" I know. Oh, uh, but that was a good one. Yeah. That was definitely a good. Yeah, one. that was a good one. And he did signs and the visit. What do you think about um, that movie? It was on also last night. Uh, Don't breathe. What do you think about that one? It was like sat here in Detroit, and it was that they went. And they broke into that guy. It was like they broke into that guy's. Um, oh yeah, that, that one's blind pretty guy's good. House. I, I like that one. Yeah, the kid's dad was like some yeah. security. Yeah. Something. Yep, that's a good one. That was pretty creepy. I like that movie. Now actually. that wasn't like scary ghost story. That was like intense. It was intense, and like that could really happen. Those you, you want to hurry up and run. Yeah. Like, Oh, you become and the then, ultimate. No, remember he was like a freak, like didn't he uh, in the basement or something was going on down there? Yeah, he had a hostage down there. Right, something. right. Yeah. But he was going to do it again. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. People go missing and they're in the basement. <laughs> and they found him with the and technology. for years. But they found him with the technology. They that's were using true. the security shit and night vision to mm-hmm. get up in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> time. Yeah. You never know what's going down. Ever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, but I've been watching, like, that Paranormal Caught on Tape. I love that show. Yes, you do. And people have been sending in all those stupid, um, all them videos are awesome. I have fun with it because they're, like, Some actual people's videos. Some of them are videos. so cheesy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but I like a lot of them that are not cheesy. Like, some of them are pretty damn good. Yeah. The ones that you can watch where you're not looking at your like phone screen. Like, the 1%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, like, that 1% is awesome <laughs> because there's, like, them cool alien, like, or UFO videos. Mm-hmm. And those are pretty sweet. Yeah. Because I think there's like more and more happening now. Like they seem like the numbers are increasing. And when I was reading this article, they were saying it's like quadrupled within the last just two years. Um, they're seeing so many more uh, sightings every day. And even daylight, doesn't even matter if it's nighttime, um, doesn't matter like your religion or anything. It's just happening all over the place. And yeah. I think uh, you said you've seen one before, right? Yes, I have. Mm-hmm. Here. So. Here. They're happening more and more all the time, and the footage is getting a little better. They're getting a little better, but uh, they're still like this blurry, you know, light up things. You know what I'm saying? But they're they're moving like crazy, and they're catching mm-hmm. a lot of that shit. Yeah. But um, I, I'm just curious, you know, like um, what all that shit is. Like it's if they're yeah, all people seeing so many now. I know it's interesting. Like, I mean, I, you have to be kind of a fool to think that there's nothing else out there, to me, in my opinion. And if it's you government know? stuff, then why are the government just putting it out there in the daylight for everybody to see and film? And they're not saying nothing to nobody. Because there's like, there'll be a bunch of them and you'll see them doing this crazy ass shit. Yeah. And nobody will say nothing. Like, there's a new video I saw from another channel. It was one of our satellite feeds. And there's something like sitting right above, out, right outside of our atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And then it just like goes straight up. And this video is from like just last week. Like somebody got into the satellite feed or whatever. Yeah, and it's it's an awesome it. video. You yeah. guys should check I it out. I haven't seen it. Um, it's it's wild. It's it's uh it's you don't know what that is. It's like it's almost weird. It almost looks like something rewound, and it, it, I don't know the way it just like just like took off. Hmm. It was just sitting there. It realized it was on camera or something, uh-huh. and just got the hell out of there. It's like skirt. You know what? Every morning, do you notice like out of the east that very bright? Whatever it is in yeah. the sky, every single day it's in the same spot. Yep, it's in the same spot. Doesn't move with the stars. Doesn't matter what the seasons are either. 
No. It's not like a. That's and why how like long has it been there? Planet. It's always I, been there. You know, we get up very, very early. Yep. We are early risers for work. And every single morning I look because it's dark. It's like nighttime. And I see this. This. What is it? Is it a satellite? I don't know what it is. Could be a satellite. It's very bright. It's a big giant street light. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a planet. <laughs> so what do you think about the circus of the uh, uh, the election that's going on? Just that? It's a freaking circus. What a shit show. Like, this is what we have. You know, this is the best of the best that we have in our country. Damn. <laughs> it's because we're run by aliens. That's what's going on. <laughs> so, when I, like I'm saying, back to this alien shit. Back to the Simpsons. No, back, not back to the Simpsons. So, like I said, there, there are UFO sightings. They're doubling, quadrupling. They're happening more and more. And if it is our government shit, I don't believe that they'd be just flaunting it to us like this every day on a daily basis and letting these people film all this shit. Um, you see people catching these weird, now they're catching some weird, like, different type of creatures and different weird shit happening. Mm -hmm. And we don't know now if like if people are saying that they're ghosts or if it's something happening inter interdimensionally. Mm -hmm. And so it's all because like science is like science is having so many crazy breakthroughs right now. And now we don't know what the hell is what anymore. Like, so it's almost like what we think was this way is now getting twisted into a whole nother way of looking at things. And I think it's changing every day. So that's why who knows what the hell is happening. But I'm interested to see. I feel like something's going to happen and we're all going to find out some things pretty soon because um, shit's getting hostile. Everything seems like super unstable. Yeah. And it seems like she, shit's about to fucking hit the bunch of fans. Like People wherever are the fans edge are. edge everywhere. Wherever all the fans are and there's going to be like piles of shit close by, they're all going to start hitting all these little fans. Yeah. And people are going to start seeing some shit going on. It's kind of scary. They're going to start seeing some shit going on. <laughs> and the aliens are coming. The Watch out now. The reptilianos. I don't think they care about no gender You think reptilianos? Equality. You don't think it'd be some other kind of alien type? Reptilianos. <laughs> Reptiles, whatever the they reptilians. are. Reptilians? Yes. I, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I'm just going off of like what they would call them off the, uh, the, the conspiracies. Mm -hmm. They're supposedly like the bad ones. The tall greys and the reptilians are the bad alien races the, that are against the us. The gray ones seem more... Um, the tall grays, not the little guys. Whatever. Those guys with the egg-shaped heads or yeah. the upside-down teardrops. Well, there's know? also a race of them that are tall, like it's over seven feet, uh -huh. and they're like, bad. That seems more um, more likely to me. Like, it'd be aliens like that, not such... Not, not, not really reptiles, you know. Well, they've found so many, or like just some weird. They found so many statues of them everywhere. You micro. know, it's all over with all the history. Bug. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's bananas. Mhm. Mm it is. It's cray cray. So, anyways, uh, speaking of the tall grays, um, that brings me back to a guy that I've seen some conspiracy stuff with called Phil Schneider. This guy was like, he worked for, he was in our military. He worked for a long time. Was a veteran of our military. And he was assassinated for this story he was going around telling about he used to go around, um, he was part of the construction of our underground military bases. Okay. And he said he would build, they built so many across just our country and then there's like a whole, he told the number of them globally, which the number's probably more by now because this was like in the 80s. Mm -hmm. So he said they were building, uh, he explained the process, like they would put these explosions in these mountains and they would blow it up and they'd go down and excavate. And then they'd make their bases and whatnot. So they drill these holes down for the explosives. And they said this sooty, smelly shit started coming out of this one hole. So Ew. like, what the hell is that? So yeah. they sent down a team with this like elevator thing or whatever. Sent the mans down. Uh huh. And they ex they saw these big, tall, gray aliens there. Ugh. And our government knew about them, but they didn't tell the soldiers this. No so way. I guess we started fighting with these guys right away, according to this Phil Schneider guy. He said we started the fighting. The aliens? Yep. With these creatures these seven over seven foot tall grays they look like the ones with the egg head shapes and the big eyes Ew. so <laughs> they started fighting with these guys and he says they do die they bleed because he killed two of them okay and he said a special forces uh saved his life uh green beret saved his life pushing him back on the elevator 
before he could get up and I guess he said he made this light come off his body and it burned his hands and opened his chest up and he shows his these nasty wounds and like he barely a got a laser any fingers, or something something yeah and he was telling this story about um how that guy saved his life to get up that elevator shaft to get back and tell this story and uh all his credit credentials like check out and then uh, all of a sudden he got killed and uh I don't remember if it was a shootout or something like that, but he got assass- supposedly assassinated mm. for telling this story about mm. what a coincidence. These weird stories, and he, you know, <laughs> you know? what's crazy now is like they're talking about this Fuchi La La thing going around, mm-hmm. um, and then there was a doctor talking about alien DNA and, and vaccines and shit, right? Yeah. He talked about in that ba- that video in the '80s in this interview about us using their DNA for vaccines, and it was like poisonous to us. Like a so cancer. It was like a, it was like a weird. Uh, coincidence from something in the 80s is now you know had a coincident you know um, a, it had a uh, something to go with the you know what's happening now so I thought that was a weird tie-in you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying that is that and because um, he was talking about it then and then he told this doctor she was crazy about saying we use alien DNA and he was saying we do it we do use it and hmm. that it was bad for us and stuff like that and um, you never know you so just then never know <laughs> So then you see everybody saying, oh, there's chemtrails everywhere, and there's, like, people spraying chemicals in the sky, and there's um, harp, you know, controlling the weather patterns, and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, what if they're terraforming Earth, and te- they're pretty much terraforming Earth for them to breathe here, and that's what it is. It ain't it ain't nothing that's harming us. They're throwing that shit in there so they could breathe in our Earth. <sighs> and that's how they could live here. Never know. You so those know. chemtrails They're, are actually know? chemicals for them to breathe in. Maybe, you know, what do you have to say about people that have cancer in their lungs that have never smoked or never hit, been about around asbestos or, you know. He's got, it's like that they yellow juice. They with lung cancer and never smoked a day in their life. Yeah, but that stuff they spray in could be like that yellow juice they use in After Earth. Like they came back to Earth and couldn't Man, breathe. who knows? That's crazy. Or just like in Total Recall, that's what they did to Mars. That machine. Recall, recall. That machine <laughs> terraformed Mars to a to an atmosphere yeah. at the end. Mm-hmm. That's what that machine did. So what if those are... That's a good that's what, movie. What if I they're used doing to love that. that movie. What if they're doing that with, with aliens right now, like for us, for them to walk around like us? You never know. I mean, look at what's happening right now. Anything is possible. So I saw like the media was trying to do this like big media, like big media. I saw the media was trying to do this big like ratings grab and they both decided to have like town hall meetings on the same night as it you know as each other's opponent which was almost kind of like a separated room debate type thing if you will and uh they had them on the same day at the same night and they had these guys grilled on a bunch of different questions and stuff like that and they came after trump they came after their, the potus and they um <laughs> they started bringing up that QAnon. Everybody, they always bring up that person. They always bring them guys for some reason, the QAnons, and they were asking him all his like if he had any affiliation or, or something like that, and like some or another. And those people have been getting their accounts taken off of all this bunch of social platforms, and because they're saying they're like putting wrong information out there and such and such. But um, that stuff's pretty interesting too. If you guys do see the. The videos that those guys put out, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty wild. They'll get you like, hmm, they'll get your head scratching and what if, what if, you know, what is this going, what really going on, you know, makes you want to find out and, uh, or it makes you pay attention a little closer or something like that. So they were asking about those things and they were bringing it up and, uh, he was like, well, well, the things those guys are talking about, I mean, is it a bad thing? You know, busting pedophiles and stuff like that. Is there, is there, she was like, is there really pedophiles in there? You know, and like. You know, all this crazy stuff. They were all grilling them, all that stuff. Well, that that Q thing spread all over the UK now. I see the UK's been on a big buzz with that same QAnon stuff. And they're carrying pizza stuff and all that stuff. All in their signs with pizza gates and all that shit around there now. It's like catching, catching fire over there. And so something like that, you know, can get out of hand. And it's, you know, maybe it should get some attention if the shit's really happening. If the shit's really happening, I'm glad people are bringing it to more media's attention. So let's get it out there. And let's bust these dirty, dirty sickos. Let's get these sickos out of here. But uh, if not, I mean, like I said, this is all entertaining shit. It's better than what you can find on TV. It's funny drama. It's never a dull moment. And <laughs> you don't know what's going to... You almost like you just want to watch because you don't know what's going to happen. That's what they used to say to Howard Stern. Like, 
there were so many people that watched him because they liked him. What are we going to say next? And then the people that hated him watched him or listened to him because they wanted to see what he's going to do next. It was a, like the same thing. These guys are watching. You got to keep looking because you don't know what you're going to miss. You might miss something and you might want to catch it live instead of hear about somebody else saying it. Because that's just fucking funny, man. It's just fucking hilarious. It's going, it's going, um, it's going to go down in the books for sure as, uh, because we got this media driven, you know, media driven generation right now. So I think it's going to be going in one of the history books too, because we're going to be talking about it for a long time with all these scandals going on with Biden's family, supposedly getting all these financial relationships with other countries and, um, you know, all that weird stuff's going on, finding out that guys are getting money for all this stuff that they shouldn't be getting money for. Who knows? Like that the family's compromised. If that shit's for real, man, that's crazy. But I, I want to see what happens. Tune in next time, you know, on the political drama. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. But you got to pay attention to them humans. If they are humans. Like, if Brian get back to the aliens. If the Simpsons shit happens for real, then that probably explains a lot why they're trying to have this world domination type of plan set to foot for our country. <laughs> Like, what are you doing this time? Well, we try to do every time. Try to take over the world. God damn it. Or not. No. Or just heal the world with a bunch of band-aids or duct tape. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit me with a like and subscription. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to catch me every Wednesday and Saturday. And this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya.